What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful weather this weekend like I am. So, I got some exciting news for you guys. We finally got the 6 liter back from the shop. So, uh, I want to make a video about what all I had done and give an update on it. So, let's go ahead and check that out. Alright guys, as you can see we got both Super Duties back in the driveway now. So, looks good. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out. As you can tell, nothing major is different on the inside. Uh, still got my live wire, run a TS live wire in both my 6.7 and my 6 liter. Um, I swear by them, I love them. For the fact that you got your gauges right here, digital gauges, and you don't have to run pillar gauges, uh, I'm kind of partial to the digital but that's just me um while it was at the shop i did get a new tune for it it was running i think it was an innovative diesel tune but it wasn't running really good so uh i had them put or i ordered a gearhead lot um what's it called gearhead srl extreme file so they went ahead and loaded up the srl extreme file on the tuner and it's loaded on the truck now and let me tell you this truck runs a thousand times better uh, the shifts are on point you know and also it's a new tune written since I got the power max turbo installed so uh, it definitely wakes that turbo up too you know the tunes that came on the live wire were written for the guy I bought this truck from he had another six liter and the tunes that are on this live wire were for his other truck. So the tunes weren't even for this truck. So the truck ran pretty bad. It shifted really hard, shifted really bad. Um, the tunes weren't optimized for the PowerMax Turbo that I installed on the truck. So I don't think I was getting optimal performance out of the turbo. So I definitely can tell a difference now in that. All right, I'll show you what we did under the hood. So let's, ch let's check that out. Um, obviously before we get to that you can see I got new worn lockouts because both of mine weren't working really good So we got new lockouts. I got the stock wheels off my 6.7 on here um, I don't know if you can see Here or not, but I got new upper and lower ball joints um, New pitman arm stuff like that Because uh, the front end had a lot of play in it. So front ends a lot better now but let's go ahead and check out under the hood. All right. I think the first thing you'll notice is the coolant filter. So let me tell you about the coolant filter. So Back Bay Diesel was doing a giveaway on their Facebook page, which I have their link down below in the description. So go ahead and give them a like on their Facebook page. But um, like I said, Back Bay was doing a giveaway um, they posted a picture up. It was two different uh, non-VGT turbos, and it was guessing the sizes on them. And I guessed the size correctly. And the giveaway was for a free coolant filter. So uh, I won that, and while I had it at the shop, I went ahead and have them installed it. So that's the first thing you can see: coolant filter. Honestly, I was gonna get one already because I think any six liter should have one, just because you know the oil cooler issues. Um, it's a good safety measure, I think, but um, another thing you can see is I had to get a new whole cable, positive terminal cable. It goes from there all the way over to this side because mine was completely corroded away and that's why it wasn't wanting to start and it was losing charge. It was leaking out of there. So I went ahead and had a new cable installed and knock on wood, we haven't had a problem with that. I don't know if you can hear it in this video, but these birds are like really loud. They're like nonstop chirping all up in the trees. I mean, that's just a sign that the weather is nice. This weather is beautiful today. It is 75 degrees in February, absolutely insane. Just a little side note. You know, while they had the truck, I figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and do some maintenance on it because the truck does have 292,000 miles on it. Um, 
and I don't know the previous maintenance schedule, so I went ahead and did a oil change, obviously, or well, new oil filter. I used the Schaefer's oil. I read a lot of good. Uh, I guess Schaefer's is really good for these trucks. I went ahead and did a transmission flush, a new transmission uh, filter, and new transmission um, fluid. I did the coolant flush, obviously, and refilled that with coolant. You know, a lot of people ask me, why did I buy a truck with 292,000 miles on it? Well, I mean, it's simple. It's a diesel. Um, it was just recently within the last 20,000 miles studded. It got head studs, gaskets, has a new oil cooler. I got a Powermax Turbo. I don't know if you can see it. Powermax Turbo I picked up only had like 5,000 miles on it. And threw that on. That makes a big difference. I mean, it's got a lot of new parts, new batteries new alternator got a lot of new parts I mean it runs great honestly I got no complaints out of this truck let's see got five inch exhaust to a seven inch tip that was on the truck when I bought it it's really dirty I need to clean it up but um yeah I wanted to give an update on the truck uh, explaining what it was in the shop for and whatnot uh, Again, if uh, you're following this page and you own a diesel truck, head over to Back Bay's Facebook page and give them a like. Um, tell them I sent you because um, they're going to start doing these giveaways, you know, monthly or every other month. And you never know what they're going to give away. It might be something you want for your truck and you can win. So, uh, as you saw, I won the coolant filter. So, go ahead and head over there and throw them a like and, you know, just watch out for their post and you might have a chance at winning something. Now that we got the truck back, I think it's uh, time for a set of wheels for this truck, you know. That truck's got wheels. Why doesn't this one have wheels? So stay tuned on what I'm going to do with that. I already got something in mind, but you have to check back in later for that. Alright guys, again, my name's Kevin. Uh, if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, or if you have not already, make sure you go to the channel and subscribe for all future content. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below on what you think about the truck, what it needs next. And again, make sure you head over to the Back Bay Facebook page and throw them a like. They'll greatly appreciate it. Alright, thanks guys. Take it easy.